Hi, I'm Dosha Stewart, Vice President of Global Corporate Communications for Legion. You know, when I think about heart disease and, and as well as diabetes, to be honest, um, one of the things I've come uh, to consider is it's almost like this unwelcome guest at every family reunion uh, growing up. It was always prevalent and part of the reality of, of our family. And, and um, it struck me particularly um, on my wedding day when my my oldest brother leaned over to me um, and said, you know, dad would have been so proud and uh, he would have loved to have been here. And uh, it really took my breath away in that moment and, and, and still does. Um, when I was uh, at my last semester of college, my dad died of his second heart attack. Um, and so when I think about life is why, um, all of these experiences and um, uh, looking around your family history, especially as you become, for me, a mother, um, it really had me take a hard look at both my lifestyle as well as the predominance of heart disease. You know, at the time that I had my second child, I was 50 pounds overweight. And um, even knowing this family history, and um, that was a real motivator for me to take a look at my lifestyle and to make a difference in, in what I wanted to spend my time on in terms of causes. And so I lost the 50 pounds. I've kept it off for uh, more than 15 years now, because when I think about life is why, for me, it means there are no guarantees and, and the odds may not necessarily be in my favor. My my brothers have had heart attacks, my uh, in-laws, and um, and so I, I certainly am realistic, but at the same time, I believe I can make a difference and I can control many of those factors. So when I get up and I'm on the treadmill, when I'm thinking about what I eat, um, that's in the back of my mind that life is why. And at the end of the day, what I hope to achieve is I want to be there for my daughter's wedding day. And the way I can do that is to live the best life I can for as long as I can. And taking part in things like the American Heart Association, being on the Go Red for Women executive leadership team are ways that I can keep that commitment top of mind. And I can make a difference for my, myself, for my family, and also for all those people that I work with and that I care about so much. Heart disease has a personal connection for me, but it also has the potential to have a profound impact on the people I work with every day and um, certainly the people I care about the most. And then secondly, um, it's also a chance to be with this group of strong women who are, truly are change makers. So if we think about um, all the impact that we have here in Indianapolis on the executive leadership team. Um, if we think about the bigger mission of how do we affect the people that we work with, as I looked at a sponsorship for a legion uh, being part of the Go Red movement, I looked at the numbers of heart disease uh, within our company and found that we actually had a pretty high percentage of families who are on our health plan who either were diagnosed with heart disease or had its risk factors like um, high cholesterol or high blood pressure. If I looked at the macro numbers for our, our uh, state and our country, the communities where we work, uh, it was really fairly startling that one in seven people will die of heart disease or one of the related conditions. And in Indiana, that means enough people to fill our baseball stadium. So, you know, you, you, when you see numbers like that, when you look at the women in your life, one in three women will die of heart disease. Um, those are highly motivating, especially if you, uh, if you think about everyone that you're going to connect with today and think about those statistics. We can't stand by, we have to get involved. And, and so that's a real motivator 
for me, as well as people like Shelley Matter, our Chief Human Resources Officer, and many of the other people that we work with. Secondly, when we think about women and, and being in a community of women who are change makers, I'm just so amazed at the great ideas and the initiatives that this executive leadership team uh, is working on. So yes, things like the Go Red for Women luncheon and the ways that we're, we're bringing um, fundraising to, to tackle heart research is really, really important. Uh, but secondly, all the initiatives that we're doing right here in our Indianapolis community. Uh, things like community gardens and food deserts that we have in our city. Uh, screenings that affect at-risk um, individuals and, and people who are underserved in our communities. Uh, when I think about things like that and, and uh, certainly the STEM event uh, to inspire girls and the future of our workforce here in our city, these are all concrete ways uh, that we're making a difference. And being with a community of women who have ideas like that, it's got to inspire you and, and it, it uh, brings me energy every day. And you know, it really, it is real. It's, it's real for so many of the, um, the women and, and as we share our stories, we find that people will come up to us and share their stories as well. And so that's when the aha, the light bulb moment goes off, that it's not just about your story, it's a story of us. And it's a story that permeates so many people that you may not have even thought about. And that's when those numbers of one in seven and one in three really um, come home. You know, if you think about it, high school is such a critical stage for girls. And what we find is that that's a time when often, even though they did really well in math and science and elementary and middle school, they tend uh, to stop taking as much STEM curriculum in many cases. And so that's a critical turning point. And we believe that if we can help girls see it and be inspired by strong role models of women, then they can believe that they can be it. And that's a critical mantra for us. If girls can see it, they can be it. And for heart disease, you know, uh, heart disease is personal uh, in my family, and I'm a mother of girls, one of which is pursuing health care. And so I know that it's critical that we have the best minds if we think about the future of heart health and, and research, as well as treatments. And we can't do that if we only have half the uh, uh, available talent going after STEM careers. So it's critical that we inspire young girls. And, uh, and then selfishly, if I think about a company like ours, a tech-enabled manufacturer, a technology in STEM is, is embedded in everything we do every day. And we're convinced that we can inspire young girls to see things like industrial design, where art meets science and bring uh, those together with engineering, that those can be in, uh, good entry points into envisioning what's possible, uh, pairing both their interest as well as some STEM careers. If we think about other things that we do every day, data science and artificial intelligence, predictive analytics, uh, robotics, uh, creating solutions for the Internet of Things. These are really exciting fields. And then if you look at uh, more traditional elements like finance, uh, problem solving that we have on the manufacturing floor, these are all great avenues in so many different ways that girls can get into STEM careers. And then, again, for us, selfishly, it means the future of our workforce here in Indianapolis is also bolstered, as well as heart research and heart health. And so again, what we want to do is we want uh, girls to know that there are strong women out there in these roles and they can be that too. So when I think about the American Heart Association and um, many of our uh, initiatives, some of the specific activities we get involved with um, things like the, um, the heart ball, which is where the construction industry all comes together. Uh, we are 
in 2017, we started sponsoring Go Red for Women after we saw the statistic of one in three women who are affected and who will die of a heart-related condition with today's statistics and wanting to change that uh, for both our, uh, our workforce as well as our community. Our Chief Human Resources Officer, Shelley Metter, uh, was instrumental in bringing that to our attention. And then last year, she served as the chairperson of Go Red for Women campaign here in the greater Indianapolis area. And that was a great rallying point for so many of our employees to get involved, both with the Go Red for Women luncheon, making that a success, participating in it, and raising their own awareness around heart health, as well as uh, the silent auction and all the things that it takes to pull off a great event like that. I uh, mentioned that uh, personal engagement and heart health is important. So we have volunteers who take part in the STEM event with girls each year and who make sure that we're inspiring them with great uh, content and videos and experiences, hands-on experiences. We have others who are sharing their personal stories of heart health and participating in other employee groups like the Women's Leadership Initiative, the uh, Journey to Health employee group, and then taking heart health into those activities that we're doing anyway. So it's not yet another thing that we do on top. It's embedded in everything that we do. We, um, we also looked at thought leadership. So we looked at um, technology in particular and how can we uh, take a thought leadership role in things like, of course, the STEM event, but then also the um, Go Red Talks that the Heart Association has sponsored as well. The third area is really looking at employees and, and their own development, their own leadership. So for those who want to uh, take it further and, and, um, and build up their own network uh, with other people who have a passion for heart health, we have um, something new that we started in Indianapolis called uh, Young at Heart. Really excited. That's for earlier career women who want to um, build a peer network. As you're um, looking at um, women leaders, their Circle of Red, and I'm a member of Circle of Red, it's a great opportunity to network with other strong leaders who have a similar passion and uh, exposure even to women all across the United States. And then finally, the other thing that we did, we wanted to look at um, one other opportunity, which is we created a, a voluntary payroll deduction program for our employees for um, a select number of nonprofits that, that are really strong in the DNA of a legion. And Go Red for Women is certainly one of those. And being able to work with the Go Red organization to direct, based on the zip code of the of the employee to direct it into um, the, the chapters so that we're impacting the communities where people live and work. 